Hello students! Welcome back to Maestrang Techie YouTube channel. Be ready with our next video lesson. Grade 9 Science Quarter 2 Weeks 4 to 5 lesson is all about the structural characteristics of carbon. Here's our learning objective. Explain how the structure of the carbon atom affects the type of bonds it forms. Do not forget to jot down notes class. So, without further ado, please keep on watching. Have you ever wondered why soda in can pops when opened? It is because of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, also known as CO2, is commonly used in soda. It gives soda carbonation. When a soda is canned before it's sealed, the space at the top is filled with carbon dioxide. This can is pressed which causes the carbon dioxide to dissolve in the soda. When the can is opened, the pressure is released causing the dissolved carbon dioxide to leave solution creating bubbles. Today, let us talk about carbon. At home, there are a lot of things made from carbon that you are unaware of. Examples are battery, charcoal, and even the precious diamond and many more. They all have one in common, that is carbon. Let us have some fun fact. True or false, carbon is one of the most abundant elements in the universe. That is true. It is one of the most abundant elements in the universe. Amazing trivia! Now, let us have the properties of carbon. Carbon's symbol is C. It belongs to the non-metal group of elements. Its atomic number is 6, which also means that it has 6 electrons and protons. The atomic weight of carbon is 12.01 grams. Its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Shown is the Lewis dot structure of carbon. As you can see, it has 4 valence electrons. A carbon atom is considered to be special and unique because it can bond with other carbon atoms to an almost unlimited degree. As a group 4 element, carbon has an exceptional versatility when it comes to bonding. So, let us move on to some compounds that carbon can form. Carbon forms many organic compounds with many atoms such as hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, as well as the halogen elements. Carbon is a very cool atom. It is so important because its atomic structure gives its bonding properties that are unique among elements. Each carbon molecule has four unpaired electrons in its outer energy shell. Therefore, carbon atoms can form covalent bonds with up to four other atoms. Carbon-based molecules have three fundamental structures, namely straight chains, rings, and branch chains. Carbon has a few unique bonding properties, the most important of which is its ability to form long chains of carbon. Carbon-carbon bonds are extremely strong. This allows carbon to make up many of the basic building blocks of life such as fats and sugars. Also, because carbon makes four bonds, it is able to exist in many different forms called isomers. No other element naturally does this as much as carbon. That is why carbon is a very cool element. Now let us proceed to bonding of carbon with itself. Allotropy Allotropy is a behavior exhibited by a certain chemical elements. These elements can exist in two or more different forms known as allotropes of that element. When an element 
exists in more than one crystalline form, those forms are called allotropes. In each different allotrope, the element's atoms are bonded together in a different manner. Allotropes are different structural modifications of an element. Carbon is an element that exhibits allotropy. Take a look of the examples of allotropes. Now, let us take a look to the two major allotropes. They are the diamond and the graphite. Using Venn diagram, let us compare their physical properties. Diamond is transparent and has no color, while graphite is opaque and black. Diamond is the hardest substance known to man, while graphite is soft and spongy in texture. Diamond cannot conduct electricity at all, while graphite is a very good conductor of electricity. Both diamond and graphite are solid and non-gaseous. Also, both of them are insoluble in water. Now, let us go back again to the Lewis dot structure of carbon. Carbon bonds with other atoms not by gaining nor losing, but by sharing its electrons. Remember that the valence electron of carbon is 4. And shown in your screen right now is the Lewis dot structure of carbon. If we are going to recall our previous lessons, atoms bond to become stable. According to the octet rule, atoms need to have 8 valence electrons to become stable. For the carbon to reach electronic stability, it must share four electrons from the other atoms. Four atoms of hydrogen can form covalent bond with carbon. It is represented by a straight line connecting the atoms, which means shared pair of electrons. Carbon forms bonds with other atoms, which may be single, double, and triple. Next, we have one of the most common organic compounds and that is hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon are organic compounds which contains carbon and hydrogen only. They are the main source of fuel for our industries. Hydrocarbon can be divided into two. They are the saturated and the unsaturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbon contain only single bonds and they are classified as alkenes. Unsaturated hydrocarbon contain at least one multiple bonds and they are classified whether alkenes or alkynes. Now, the question is how to name hydrocarbon molecules. Of course, you have to determine the type of bond. Is it single? double or triple next is the type of carbon compound for single bond it is saturated for double and triple it is unsaturated hydrocarbon saturated hydrocarbon is called alkane unsaturated double bond is called alkene unsaturated triple bond is called alkyne as you can see their suffix changes in for single, in for double, and ein for triple. We also take note the number of carbon atoms in naming. Then, look for its equivalent prefix. Meth for one carbon atom.
atom, F for two carbon atoms, prop for three carbon atoms, and so on. Please take note of this class. Now, let us have an example. There are four carbon atoms. This is the prefix. It is an alkane. Therefore, its carbon name will be butane. An alkene with two carbon atoms will be ethene. An alkyne with three carbon atoms will be propyne. As easy as that class, let us have the straight chain alkanes. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbon that contains single bond. Our general formula is Cn H2n plus 2 where n is the number of carbon atoms. Let's have an example. Let's say the value of n is 3, meaning there are three carbon atoms. Using the general formula, let us substitute the value of n. Then, multiply 2 and 3 will become C3H6 plus 2. Add 6 and 2. Our molecular formula is C3H8. This is also called Propane. Why? Because it has three carbons, so its prefix will be prop. It is an alkane or single bond. That is why the suffix is in. Let me show you the structural formula of propane. Next, look at the table in your screen. It shows the names of straight chain alkanes, their molecular formula, and their structural formula. That is it for our lesson this week. Please don't be shy to comment down your questions. And if this video helped you, do not forget to click the like, share, and subscribe button. To keep you updated for future videos, turn on the bell button. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next one. Bye!